I uh, am here today to announce that I am leaving the Republican Party. and will seek the Libertarian nomination for President of the United States. <laughs> Being the nominee of the Libertarian Party is no done deal. And by that I mean it will be competitive, it will be a debated process, and I respect and look forward to that process. The Libertarian nominee for president will be on the ballot in all 50 states, something that is very, very significant. Never before has there been such an outcry over the two-party system in this country. The fastest growing segment of American politics is decline to state and independence. We are just fed up with the two-party system. The Democratic Party, I think, has turned their backs on gay rights, marriage equality, their anti-war base, their anti-drug war sentiment. Neither party is offering up solutions that this country faces. Republicans are no longer the stewards of the pocketbook. Republicans are no longer good stewards of tax dollars. Look, we complain about President Obama's health care plan because it's unaffordable. And yet when Republicans were in control just a short time ago, controlling both houses of Congress and the presidency, what did they do? They passed a prescription health care benefit that at that time was the largest entitlement program that this country has ever faced. It wasn't affordable then, and it's not affordable now. What I think the opportunity of running as a libertarian is, is number one, it's really exciting. It's the ability to tell the American people that we live in a constitutional republic. We don't live in a democracy. Because in a democracy, you can vote yourselves a raise. And I think that's what the Democrats think, is that you can vote yourself a raise, and that's why we're in the predicament that we're in. And we live in a constitutional republic, which means that we are a country governed by laws and the United States Constitution. But what I think the Republicans don't recognize is, is that you can change the law, and that laws do need to be changed. And if you just look at the law, if you just look at the law, would we still have segregation in this country? Would we still not allow women the right to vote? That seems to be the tack that Republicans take. We pass wrong-headed laws. Libertarians talk about all the things that they're not going to do in office. I think my 750 vetoes as governor of New Mexico really gives me a unique voice when it comes to all the things that government should not do. I think to be libertarian, libertarian comes from classical liberal. I think the majority of people in this country consider themselves classical liberal, and that is the notion that we're all fiscally conservative and we're actually socially liberal. As a libertarian president, as a candidate for the libertarian nomination, I'm going to talk all the time about balancing the federal budget. Let's balance the federal budget. That means cutting 43% from the federal government. And if we don't do that, I think we're going to find ourselves without a country. Let's enact the fair tax. 
And when I talk about taxes, libertarians are anti-tax all the way across the board, and I share in that. So the fair tax is the best of the worst, but I really believe that it reboots the American economy and that at its base, the notion that it's the fair tax is just as the name implies, it's fair. The more money you make, the more fair tax you'll pay, it will also promote savings. Let's reduce welfare in this country. Let's reduce warfare in this country. Let's end corporate welfare now. Let's have a constitutional adherence to gay rights. Let's have a constitutional adherence to gun rights. Let's have a constitutional adherence to private property rights. Let's have a constitutional adherence to women's rights. The Tea Party is right when they talk about let's reduce government spending now. Occupy Wall Street is right when they talk about or when they express the outrage in this country over the fact that this country doesn't deal it out fairly. And at the root of not dealing it out fairly are both political parties that have their hands out to say, it's for sale. Give me money and I'll grant you your special favor, your loophole, and make that happen. And that's why we're in the predicament that we're in right now, is because it's not a level playing field. And libertarians, in my opinion, offer up that notion of level, level playing field. We need a strong US dollar not a weak U.S. dollar. We need to stop printing money in this country. We need to end the war on tens of millions of Americans who happen to use drugs. As President of the United States, I advocate legalizing marijuana. As President of the United States, I would end marijuana being a Schedule I narcotic. As President of the United States, I would pardon non-violent drug offenders, something that I did as Governor of New Mexico. No one in this, in this race, Democrat, Republican, either one, is talking about real solutions when it comes to the border. Look, we can secure the border without building a fence. What a waste of money. Yeah. Let's make it as easy as possible for somebody that wants to come into this country and work to get a work visa. Not a green card, not citizenship, but a work visa. And then I just bang my head over the fact that all of the candidates, when they talk about border violence, none of them are addressing the root cause of border violence, which is the prohibition of drugs. Disputes that are being played out with guns rather than the courts. Speaking with a broad brush, I think Americans describe themselves as fiscally conservative and socially liberal. I'm doing this today because this is an agenda that I think resonates with most Americans, and it's an agenda that's not being addressed by either political party. I think we have a unique opportunity in this country to actually fix the problems that face us all, but it's not going to be business as usual. I want to thank all of you for being here. You have no idea how much it means for me to have you here. Um, this morning in support of this. I would like to just point out Kate Prusak, my fiance, Kate just a wave, and my daughter Saya and her partner Josh that showed up. You know, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you to so many of you, so many of my closest friends uh, that are here today.
included in those closest friends really is a, is a new friend, but it's Mark Hinkle. Mark is the chairman of the National uh, Libertarian Party. I just think it speaks, and by the way, he is neutral. Uh, Mark is somebody who wants to promote uh, a competitive libertarian field for president, and I absolutely respect that. Um, and I just think it speaks volumes, though, that uh, Mark has flown in to be here today, and I would like to turn the podium over to Mark. At the conclusion of his remarks, uh, we'll open this up for, uh, for questions and comments.